What is going on guys? Welcome to Revan Step. Today I decided to shoot a little video and show you the five quirky things about my car. Um, so let's get started. Number one, it will be the windshield wipers. So let's say you decide to change your windshield wipers and they need maintenance. So what happens is if you look at the windshield wiper, you can't lift it up. It touches the bonnet right there. So you can't, it, it just touches the hood. So you can't lift it up. So what you have to do, and this is the first car I've ever had that you had to do this is uh, get inside the car put the switch on the on position turn it off oh hi there look at that car so anyway what you have to do is uh, press the on position on the ignition key or the ignition switch press it off put the windshield wiper lever down and that's what happens so now you can actually put the windshield wipers up and do your service to put them back down what you have to do is start the car and just turn the windshield wipers on and it'll go back into your own uh, spot so that's that's the first car i've ever had that does that and it's a very interesting first time when you try to uh, clean your windshield wipers or service your windshield wipers trying to figure out how to actually put them in the service position so number two will be the actual hatch when you go to open the hatch this is what happens where is the actual handle there is no handle that opens the hatch so there is no actual handle where you open the, the actual hatch so what you have to do is actually do this And that's a really cool feature. I think it keeps the, the hatch really clean looking. Um, and it's simple. And sometimes when, when you ask your friends, hey, go open the hatch room because I need to put that in there. They look kind of confused because they don't know what to do. And uh, I believe it's an awesome future. I wish more cars would have something like a hidden switch or a hidden uh, lever like that or a hidden handle where you'll be able to actually open the, the trunk. And again, it's this right here. It just opens it up. So number three, it's uh, I'm not sure why it does that, or I guess it's supposed to do that. So depending on the size of the people, they can feel more comfortable in the car. But it's the center console. So what this thing does is if you open it just a little bit, you can close it down. So my guess is if people want to get different settings to be more comfortable while driving the car, they use that. But I find it quirky and a little bit annoying too, because sometimes I will be just messing around. I'll just pop this a little bit and I can't put it back down. So what you have to do is open it up all the way and then close it down and that's how you fix that i wish i wish it wouldn't do this i wish it would just like stay up and then you can just push it down again and close it but i, I kind of understand that the mechanics it might be a little bit hard to do to make it to where it will stay up for a little bit and then you have to close it down again i'll never use it to have a certain setting to where it will stay up where i'm more comfortable i think the natural position of it being closed down it's perfect in the car Number four, what number four does is it's very interesting. I think the computer resets itself when that happens. But what happens is, uh, let's say you have the car, you start the car up. Testing. System ready. So you start the car up and you can see over here, it says drive. So let's put the car in sports mode. And again, there's sports mode. And now it says S. What happens is you can drive, when you drive in that mode and uh, eventually decide to park and go to the store or whatever you might keep the car in the sports setting but the actual transmission will go back to its default setting the drive mode and sometimes i find it annoying i would like the car to stay in uh in the setting that i had it set up before so you turn the car back on you put it in drive and there you go there's the drive setting but that's very quirky i i believe when there's a setting that you set up the car it should stay in the setting i guess it's kind of like a quirky quirkiness to the car quirky quirkiness to the car because it switches it from sport to drive and it kind of like switches the settings on its own uh, and let's go back to number five I've I've visited that subject again it's a quirkiness and also kind of annoying at times again we'll go back to the sunroof rattle um, I know there's service bulletins out there where you can take it to the dealership and have them fix it I, I I don't find a point of having it being fixed it rattles here and there but I find it quirky too because some days the car will be very quiet and then another day the car will rattle so it's it's kind of like its own little thing that the car has and i think that's a little bit of the personality of the car so i don't think it will ever fix it it's not annoying like at least to me it's not annoying 
So I think I think I'll, I'll leave it that way. It's it's part of the car. Uh, I like the way the car is. So why not leave it? Why ha why fix it? I hope you guys like the five quirky things that my car has. I know some of those things might be common around the Mark 7 GTI, but to me those are my five quirky things that the car has and I love the car for what it is and those quirky things I think they're amazing I think the car is great again thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing please like the video below I really appreciate your support see you later